Many disorders can affect the hearing of children and adults. Today, Dr. Daniel Gantz of Boca Raton Regional Hospital is here to tell us about the causes and effects of hearing loss and what treatments are available. Thank you for being here with us today. Thanks for having me on your show. Well, what are some of the symptoms of hearing loss? Uh, hearing loss is, uh, is decreased hearing that oftentimes people notice first in, in not in their usual environment speaking to people one on one, but for instance in a restaurant or somewhere with loud noise in the background mm. and then noticing they're not able to hear people as well mm. as they, they used to. Often with certain types of hearing loss, uh, you'll also have de increased difficulty, for example, with high-pitched voices like mm. high, high voice, high-pitched females or mm. children. Mm. Uh, and ringing is oftentimes uh, something that accompanies hearing loss. Now there's something called noise-induced hearing loss. What exactly is that? Noise-induced hearing loss is when people are exposed to loud noise over a period of time, uh, they have decreased in their ability to, to hear, oftentimes in the high frequencies. And that happens with people who work in loud noise environments. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, for instance, people who are working at, at, at concerts, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, in factories, also people who do a lot of, uh, for example, recreational mm -hmm. shooting. They're exposed to very high intensity high, uh, uh, sounds that affect the ear. But for a lot of folks, that doesn't amount to hearing loss. So at what point does that noise become dangerous? Well, you have to be exposed to the noise for a, a, a significant amount, of, a significant intensity for a significant period of time. And OSHA standards uh, dictate that if you're working in an environment where you're exposed to over 85 decibels uh, for at least for, for eight hours, you need to wear ear protection. Mm -hmm. uh, and then as that volume goes up, they require, they only allow you to work less time in that, in that environment. And if you are exposed to more than that sound for over five or ten years, you can start to develop hearing loss. So if you're a lay person that doesn't do things like that, doesn't work in those environments, how can you protect your hearing? Well, both lay people and, and people who work in a uh, uh, work environment with a lot of noise should wear ear protection. Mm -hmm. uh, you can buy over-the-counter uh, ear protection that provides you with over 30 decibels of uh, hearing protection. Mm -hmm. If you use the, uh, the ones that go into the ear canal, just be very careful on how you insert them because right. that makes the difference whether they work or not. And ear, ear mitts can also be helpful for people. Now, if exposure to noise is bad for my hearing, particularly loud noise, wouldn't a hearing aid make for more damage? Well, hearing aids are, are uh, designed for people who have hearing loss and can't hear well in normal environments. The same, the same people, if they go into a loud noise environment, should either use uh, an ear mitt or remove the hearing aids and potentially even use, a, use a ear, uh, earbuds in the ear as well mm -hmm. because they do not protect you against uh, hearing loss. All right, well, I think that's our time for now. Thank you so much for being here and good advice you've given us as far as protecting our hearing. Thank you. Well, thanks for having me. And Boca Raton Regional Hospital sponsors our expert and underwrites our Ask the Doctor segment.